This session is about the cycle scanner and especially what is a cycle spectrum plot and how to use the cycle feature extraction from our platform. So very often receive the question on how to read the cycle spectrum plot from a visual perspective. So therefore in this session I want to give, give you kind of quick information on how to use it. So if you switch to the cycle scanner and open a chart, so this is the S&P 500 chart, um, you will see that the cycle scan has been done and you will find the cycle spectrum at the bottom of the screen, like shown here. So the cycle spectrum is a plot on the x-axis with a cycle length, so 100 bars, 200 bars, 300 bars, the length value for a cycle, and the amplitude of each given cycle length which has been analyzed. So the cycle spectrum is a full check against each possible cycle length and then plotting the cycle amplitude, which is relevant for these cycle lengths. So what you do in this data is you look for peaks in the amplitude and check where the expected length setting is. So in this case here you see clear peak at a length of 170 and a peak which indicates that this is an active cycle here. So the, the, the basic usage of a spectrum plot is that you extract all peaks out of this data hen and all peaks are relevant for an individual cycle. So that's how the list on top of the screen is built off. So if you just count the peaks here uh, out of this chart and check the length here down below for each peak, um, then you have all active cycles in the data set. And this is exactly what is shown here in the right hand list above on this top of the screen here. That's the pure information. So each length here has a peak in the scanner chart below. The basic usage is just that you would use each individual cycle, which was detected in the data set, and I will just activate them here to build a composite plot. And if you see, if I go down the list and purely activate each cycle, you see from the purple line here on the chart that you can rebuild now the original raw data purely with cycles, which has been detected by applying digital signal processing here. That's the basic usage of a spectrum, but we are not interested in of a list of 10 or 20 cycles, which are from a digital signal relevant in this data set. We are looking for the most important cycles here because we want to build forecasting models. And for forecasting models, it's quite more important to have the one, two, three, or maximum four important cycles than just having the mathematical science of it. So let's deselect it. And that's where the so-called cycle feature extraction comes into play because Besides the amplitude peaks, there are some other additional information. And the first most important feature, which we use here, is the so-called Bartels value, which is indicated here by the color of the triangle. The triangles now here on the chart give you an information of additional features for each cycle. And I will quickly go over it. The first is the color. You see that each triangle has a different color, green, blue, red. So the cycle, the scale is indicated here on the right hand side and the green means high bottle score, blue means medium bottle score and red means low bottle score. What does it mean? It means a high bottle score is a kind of value which indicates that this is a real cycle which is repeating more than once. So it's a repeating cycle and this is what we're looking for. A low bottles value shows you that the digital signal has found this cycle once or maybe twice, but not very often in a repeating fashion. So if you want to build forecast models, what you're looking for is for cycles which have very often repeated in the data set, because then they might be reliable even moving forward. So that's a statistical test of significance, which gives you an additional feature now telling you if it was maybe just based on a random event. So we had one cycle in the data set, but I would not recommend to use this moving forward. Or if there are very high statistical significance that it has repeated much more often than once. So look for high bottle score, which is a green triangle here in the chart. And just from this feature, 
it gives you quite good information to limit down the number of possible cycles you would choose for a forecasting model. If you look at this chart here, there are only four um, triangles which have a green color. So this brings down the list very quickly to from a large list of, I don't know, 15 to 20 cycles just to four which are of interest. The second feature which is also shown here is the size of this triangle. You see this is a large green triangle compared to these small red triangle here. Or even if you go down to these green triangles here, you see that two of them are very small. So what you should then look as a second feature is the size of the triangle. And the size of the triangle is an indication for the strength of a cycle here. This is now the second feature which we use because you should not just look for the pure absolute value of the amplitude because the amplitude is important in regards to driving the price or change of the data per bar. So if you are doing forecast or if you are looking into the quite near future of a future of a forecast, you're always interested in which cycle is driving the change per bar most and not mainly just which has the highest amplitude because the amplitude is distributed over the full length of a cycle. So even high amplitudes with a little which are very, very high length, can just induce small changes in price if you move bar by bar. So the second feature you should look out for is the cycles with the highest strength compared to each other. This is a relative uh, calculation. It's just purely dividing the amplitude by the length. And this gives you then an indication about the relative change of each cycle per one bar, which is in interesting if you do cycle forecasting. So therefore then, and it's clearly then easy if we, if we want to select these three um, green arrows here and if we just zoom in a little bit, you can see that you should not pick these two small green triangle marked cycles because they just have a very small strength. And a very small strength means the impact on the change of price per bar is very low. So in regards to is this is an important cycle for forecasting, indicating high price changes? No, they are not. Even they are in the data set and they have a high statistical significance, we can skip them for timing, forecasting, important turning points because the strength is so low. So this leaves us with just two important cycles in this data set here. One is the one with the length of 170 and the other one is the um, big green triangle here with the length of 32 bars. So and this is the value of a visual spectrum plot here with our additional feature extraction. So if you now move up, you have the exact same similar information here on the right hand chart uh, um, in the active cycles list. So you have length, amplitude, strength and battles. But as you see, just a pure list of data is for us humans not as easy to, to read about. So the visual information helps a lot. I mean, for our machine learning algorithms, this list would be interesting, but this is how you use the features. So you could choose the one with a length of 170 and the other one, which is a little bit more down below here, the length of 32, based on the good strength and good battles score in combination. And by picking these two cycles here, this gives you a kind of model, which um, quite is quite accurate with picking the highs and low um, in the market here. So this high and the composite forecast is good correlation to the high and the real data. This low in the composite forecast is a good correlation with the low of the real market. This high here in the composite forecast is in alignment with the high of the real markets here. This low in the composite forecast is in alignment with the market low here compared to the last high here. Um, even if it's not the absolute low. So then the next high period is in alignment with the market high compared to the last low and compared to the next low of the composite forecast, which is in great alignment with the real market low. And so you read it. So these two cycles are most important to read the long-term ups and downs of the data set you've analyzed. And this is what you're mainly looking for now using for your own forecasting models. So this is the procedure I would recommend to read how to read the spectrum plot with cycle feature extraction. So this should give you a kind of clue on yeah, how to use this feature 
and how to make use of this visual representation. Thank <laughs> you.